Jupiter at night In front of the live studio audience Hello everybody and welcome to Jupiter at night Good evening I should say, my name is Chris And I'm Alan Today we're going to have a casual easy episode Because after we get done shooting Jupiter at night We're going to play Connect Oh, yeah. Yeah, the Xbox Connect came out last week, right? Yeah. Was it last week? I think yeah. so. Yeah. Anyways, lots of comes out this Friday, and we're reviewing, just going, you know, top to bottom, all about Connect. And so we're going to we're gonna get a bunch of footage tonight after the show for that. So we figured we'd just have a fun hangout with the chat room kind of thing. Um, we wanted to see what the chat room has to say. So we're going to take some phone calls, well, some Skype calls, uh, if, as they filter in. But the uh, first question when we wait for a Skype call comes right out of the chat room itself, Alan. It's some sort of, like, uh, internet magic. Oh, chat room. I know, right? So great. The, uh, the first question we'll say is, Michael Huff asks, uh, how many systems... Oh, this is let, about me. Let me, me ask it. All right. Chris. This is about me. How many systems do you own? And do you have a stationary one that you dedicate with specific distro? Ow. And what is that distro? I don't really like talking about my stuff because it sounds bad, but um, let's see. How many computers do I have? Well, I would have one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> eleven, if you don't count. <laughs> Smartphones and tablets. Um, and one of them, wait. Yeah, did I count that one? Yeah, I think so. I think I counted that one. It is a stationary Ubuntu 10.10 machine. And then the other one is a stationary. The other two, two of them are editing systems. And one of, you know, some of them are systems out here. They're all stationary. Did you even count, did you count that one? Mm -hmm. Oh, man. Yeah. So that's, insane. that's a good question. And if anybody wants to call in with a question, they're welcome to do so. Uh, now, uh, anybody else in the chat room, you're welcome to throw a question at us. Now, I just want to make a caveat. The lot, I haven't really bought a new system in quite a long time. Like, I realize, like, my hardware is kind of getting to an age now. Like, I got a lot of stuff that's kind of needs, like, but some of the stuff. But when you say it's good. an age, you, you mean, like, what, what's the oldest computer that you have oh, running oldest, right now? Oh, the oldest, this one. And uh, how old is uh, it? Five or six years old. Okay, well, that's still good, though. Yeah. yeah it's not, it's still yeah. running it's still It does what fine. we need, yeah. It's fine. Now, see, what you need is just an upgrade to your big power system. Yeah. That's what you need. Yeah, and you know, the, the, we have an iMac in there that we edit on, and it just needs RAM so bad. It is, like, choked. How, how exactly do you upgrade RAM in a Mac? They though? put, like, slots in the bottom of the iMac. Oh, you actually can do it? Yeah, yeah, there's two, there's two slots in the bottom of it. And you, you, it's like you feel kind of dirty because, like, you open up this doorway, and you put your fingers up in there and pop out the memory sticks, and they fall down into your hand, and you got, like, it's dirty memory. You can, and then so you, it's a pretty intimate moment with you and your Apple. Well, I mean, my iMac, yeah. Well, that's an Apple problem. Well, actually, I haven't, I haven't done to this iMac, but... The mini's worse, dude. The mini, you gotta get a, you gotta get a, you gotta get all up in there. All right, we got Paul, also known as LaBelle. Hey, LaBelle, and the bell's on the line now. What up, um, LaBelle? Now, LaBelle, you are, hey, Alan. you're well known <laughs> because we uh, had a, we had an episode where we were playing Halo Reach with the live stream, and we played on your map, and it was epic. Yeah, it was a pretty good map. Yeah, I still have to give you guys those maps sometime. Are you gonna send us video? We want to see your uh, adorable internet face. I do have this set up for video. Oh, <laughs> the internet's amazing. It's just how it works. LaBelle, what, what, what time zone are you in? I'm in the ES, um, Eastern Standard Time. Oh, okay. All right. So you're, wow, so it's late where you're at right now. Yeah, but I got out of work like 42 minutes ago. Oh, so you still got that? You're still pumped up from work? Sound like you got an East yep. Coast accent. That, yeah, yeah. He does yeah. a little bit there. Yeah, so, it was, so we're recording right now at 8. 40 our time and it's uh, like like it makes it like 11:40 something. His and that's time. even late for you. You we used to do it at nine and you were too sleepy. I know I'm <laughs> too sleepy right now. Let's let's not kid ourselves. Now, Lobel, come yeah. on here. What's uh, what's going on with this video? I thought I was uh, gonna get to see video of your East Coast. I face. do have it sent as a video call. I don't know why you haven't oh, done it. Oh, well, Lobel, something tells me that the guy that does video production 
and takes video calls all the time. It's probably not the guy that has the problem on his hands. <laughs> <laughs> it's probably the guy that never really does this very often. I'm just putting it out there, LaBelle, though. I don't want to put you on the spot. I, I don't do it very often. <laughs> all right. Forget about the video. What's your question, LaBelle? What do you got for us? Oh, my question for you, Alan, is why do you think of so far since you've been playing it for a while, Fallout 3? Oh, oh. dude, I love Fallout 3 right now. It is awesome. Right now, I'm kind of I'm kind of taking the, the good path. I'm kind of being a... Uh, oh, you're making the moral choices? Yeah, yeah. And I'm trying to pick what I think is the best faction and do it that way. That's nice of you, dude. Well, that's just for the first playthrough. I'm going through hardcore mode where you got to drink water and eat food and stuff. And it's, really? And it's a lot of fun. You're doing that one, like, so when you're out in the desert, like, you got to bring supplies and stuff. Well, a lot of times you just kill, kill the animals anyways. Animals have water? Well, no, they have... So you got to carry water? Well, yeah, you got to carry water. That's just I exactly just what I just said. I'm just saying... I think I feel the ornery Not tonight. Food. I'm sorry. I, didn't, I, I don't mean to dump on both LaBelle and Alan. I guess I'm kind of in a jerky now, it, mood. It is a little glitchy, but it's it's a lot of fun. And actually, um, hopefully in the next Lotso or the Lotso after, we're going to go into like a crazy in-depth what we think about our really? different views. Not what so we've Yeah, just go crazy with it. Uh, LaBelle, did you have another question? Because I was yeah. going to... Okay, go. Fire My it off, sir. You, Chris. All right. Have you ever played Champions, and how is that game? Yes. Uh, so, well... Before Star Trek Online came out, the only way you could even get Star Trek Online in beta, it like a for sure your hat's in the in the ring kind of a thing, or your name's in the hat, whatever. Um, <laughs> Alan, I will internet punch you. I will internet punch you. It'll internet hurt. Um, the so yeah, I played it. And I liked it quite a bit. Now that it's free to play, I'm definitely gonna pick it back up again. See, I don't, yeah. I don't think, I don't know. I played it for a little bit. I I'm saw it in action, Donald, and I Donald. don't think it's for me. It's not like a, it's not like a lose yourself. It's a, it's a casual play, and that's why I think free to play is perfect for it. Because then I don't have that guilt of, oh, i got to go play because I'm paying for it. Yeah. You know what I'm saying? Have you, have you played it, yeah, LaBelle? good point. I'm downloading um, Champions right now. I started downloading it at That's why your video is not working. No. <laughs> <laughs> it's still at 72% after starting off 6 o'clock yesterday afternoon. Oh, oh my goodness. That's harsh. All right, LaBelle, uh, I got an announcement I wanted to make, but was there anything else you wanted to bring up before I hung up on your face? <laughs> Well, just that I wish I wasn't working on Saturdays. Now I can't watch a stoked on Oh, uh, I know. We launched stoked. You know, Saturday we had 130 people show up on our live stream and hang out in the chat room and just hang. <laughs> it was nice. really great. Yeah. That's wow. crazy. Yeah, we did the live episode, and that was fun. And then we just sat out here and shot the whole stoked. It worked out great. Nice. And that yeah. was pretty cool seeing Dylan at the end. I'm yeah, <laughs> I saw that. Yeah, that was, that was good. Cute. I yeah. saw that clip. Aww. He's a little cutie. Yeah. Mm -hmm. All right, the bell. Thanks for calling Thanks, in, buddy. Thanks, the bell. Welcome. Peace. So, all right, you ready for this? Yeah. Are you ready for this? You all ready for this? Do you know my buddy John? He was like he did joint failures. He used to be on Cast of Blast and all that I kind of stuff. I don't know him personally, but I, I am familiar with his face. Well, you know, it's funny as we've been doing the live stream more and more on Jupiter Night every night and stuff like that. People are watching the reruns during the day a lot. Right. And uh, joint failures is on there from time to time. So people have kind of becoming have kind of rediscovered my buddy John and stuff like that. I know. I always wanted him on the show. I wanted to meet the dude. He's he going to be cool. here this Thursday. Uh huh. Yep, John uh, from Cast West and Joint Failures fame will join Joint Failures this Thursday just to hang out with us. And so is it going to be a four way? No, uh, the J Man. I'm going to be kicked out. No, the J Man's <laughs> light this week. He's got a big concert coming up. Oh no! Nice. So that's why he's not here tonight, and then uh, he won't be here Thursday night either. So it'll be oh, uh, it'll be the three of us. Uh, I hope he enjoys my company. I'm sure he will. And so I'm I, I, we're, we're we're kicking around maybe doing a thing versus other thing. That we could debate, you know, maybe we could take live choppies from the chat room and we could come up with something. Nice. Movie night, if there's movies people want us to talk about. Um, so, I don't know, we'll kick around some ideas, see what we come up with, and then I'll we'll throw them past John and see what they like. All right, so uh, we're going to wrap up tonight's episode unless, the, unless we get, as we're wrapping up, feel free to call in. I'll give out the last few shout outs. You guys said you're going to call in, yeah. you don't call in. I know, they get, they get stage fright. You get distracted. Call That's in. All right. <laughs> uh, okay, we'll take one last question here. Uh, Michael Huff, one from the chat room, says, Chris, you know, at one point, Chris, you changed the name of the Linux Action Show. You changed it to the Computer Action Show, Chris. And I want to know, Chris, why did you do that? Were you trying to spread your wings and fly, Chris? Well, kind of. You know, in a way, we were. We were kind of thinking maybe uh, if, uh, if, we, if, we put, if we took Linux out of the name and put computer in the name, although we still kept it pretty Linuxy, that maybe we'd like discover even more people and maybe and all that kind of stuff, and then eventually we would have... But did uh, the Linux people end up hating you for it? No, I mean, a lot of them stuck with us, and now we're bigger than ever, so it, well, it's all worked out. Now, now that we... After we did it, we realized that the thing that made us... One of the things that's really good is, you know, that sh the Linux action show is Linux. It's specific. You know what you're getting, and that's awesome. And it's done better because of it. 
All right, so we got another caller on the line. Chris Aladdin. What up? In. And uh, what's Hello. going on, Chris? Hey, welcome to Jupiter at Night, sir. Yep. <laughs> 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 you oh sound so excited to be I'm here. Sorry. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> sorry. Eat the streak. What are you up to tonight? Oh my god. <laughs> That's great. Are you just uh, at home relaxing? <laughs> uh, I'm at home at 10 to 5. 5 a.m. In the morning. Oh. Whoa. What the heck? Why are you still Wait. up or why are you waking up that early? I, yeah. Uh, why, why am I still up? Um, to watch you guys. Oh, oh yeah. <laughs> nice. Are you so you're still up? Well, well mm, powerhouse. You're powerhouse. I, I got I got up about eight hours ago. So. Okay. <laughs> okay. All right. You're powerhouse. That's cool. I, oh, I see. You kind of have yourself on a Jupiter at night schedule. That's what it is. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> well, all right. Well, did you have a question for us, or are you just calling to say hi? Well, calling to say hi. And question is. Of the PSP and the DS, mm. which one do you think is the better system? Interesting question. Ooh. Now, Alan, you've had both. I know, and I've traded in both a few times. I've, I've had probably like four or five, and Justin I've has two. I've always looked. I've never gotten the PSP. You know, I have I have a couple of DSs. The PSP was great, and there was a, re a couple of really good games. It's just without having that dual analog stick, it just it pissed me off, and a lot of the games couldn't do the control right. Ouch. The few that did, like Justin always played, um, I think it was Siphon Filter. They did the controls really right, and actually hmm. the Grand Theft Auto ones so did better. okay. It was better then? It had a lot of good things going for it with the video and everything like that. Like, that was pretty cool. I mean, what about they, you, Chris? Um, personally, I thought probably tend slightly to more the PSP, but that's because I like the PSP, and it's got a better online store, the PSN mm, store. Definitely. Yeah, it's better got better graphics, PSP. a better screen. There's a lot of advantages to it. And I, I bet especially since you're a PS3 owner, it probably makes it more nice because there is that kind of joint connectivity between the two, right? Oh, yes, yes. It'd be the, um, you can remote, remote link to the uh, PS3, and since I have three PSPs, I can remote <laughs> link in one and play on the other. Nice. <laughs> nice. That's not a bad setup. Now, see, I've, although I said that, and I do really have enjoyed my PSP, I think I actually have played my DS more. Mm-hmm. Yeah. Like, the games that I do get for them, I end up playing That's them why I longer. never pulled the trigger on the PSP myself, was I sat down, I looked at the games, and I said, you know, the ones I'm likely going to play, it's probably the DS. Because when I'm playing on that, it's like, kill a few minutes, it's, or it's just a, it's, it's a different kind of gaming for me. Yeah. No. Uh, I think it very much depends on the time. If you could, there are a lot of RPG games on the PSP now. Yeah, and they are some very good RPG That's games. That's true. The Disgaea games nice. are very good. That could uh, be they nice. have gotten good reviews. Yeah. Yeah. yeah, I've heard a lot about those ones. All right, man. Well, good um, call. Good questions. I think we're gonna wrap though, because we got we got we can try to keep the Jupiter night a certain length. That way, we don't make it too long for the peeps. But we'll uh, talk to you next time, sure. dude. Thanks for calling in, dude. Bye bye. <laughs> Sleep good. <laughs> yeah, get some rest. <laughs> thanks for uh, joining, though. All right, off with the headphones. Okay, everyone. Well, thanks so much for tuning in tonight's episode of Jupiter at Night. And feel free to join us live Tuesday through Thursday over at jupiterbroadcasting.com. Slash live. Slash live. And if you were watching tonight live, you'd see us make complete fools out of ourselves after we wrap this episode playing Connect. Yeah, it's awesome. Hey, okay. <laughs> Watch it live. All right, everyone. Well, thanks so much for watching tonight's episode, and we'll see you tomorrow night.